I'm going to get out to 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen right now. She is with the cousin of Jonathan Blanc. How, how is, what's kind of the reaction out there at this point? I know there's, there's mixed emotions and mixed reactions out there, Jacqueline, but how, how is the cousin of Jonathan Blanc feeling about all this? Absolutely. I'm joined here right now with Jessica Watts. She is Jonathan Blunk's cousin who was shot uh, during the Aurora Theater shooting. Jessica, tell me, how are you taking this? What did you think when you heard the verdict read? Um, pretty stunned. Um, still trying to di digest it. Um, not what I expected, to be honest. Um, I thought that they would come back with a death verdict, and it didn't happen. What was it like in the courthouse? Describe for me what you saw. Very intense, um, very emotional. A lot of people, you know, quietly sobbing. Um, it wasn't, you know, quite what everybody expected. You know, it was a lot of stunned um, spectators. Um, and, you know, were you looking at James Holmes as the verdict was read? Tell me what you saw him do. He was pretty emotionless. Um, emotionless. Emotionless, yeah. And um, he you know, didn't react at all. And when I spoke to you before you went in there today, you said you were trying to keep an open mind uh, because you have no control over this decision. Did you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, disappointed, or did you feel like you had gone into it truly with an open mind? I really went into it with an open mind um, just because I had to remember that this was... Um, you know, you know, he was found guilty. That was the bottom line, um, and that he, you know, he won't ever be free per se. Um, you know, because at the sentencing, you know, he did. He is going to get um, a good amount of time. Yeah, life in prison without yeah. the possibility of parole. Is that enough? Do you feel like this is justice here today? It's a piece. It's a piece of closure. Um, it's you know. It's going to take me a couple of days to, di to digest exactly what that means. And you said something very powerful to me earlier that um, no matter what happened today, there were really no winners uh, per se in this trial. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's 12 people that still are passed away. And, you know, whether we got the verdict of death or life today, they'll never, ever come home to us. All right, Jessica Watts, Jonathan Blunk's cousin, um, and I know that you've been through a lot. Thank you so much for sharing with us your thoughts after this. You came out of that trial fast, too. Uh, were, did you feel like you needed to get out there, out of there after all this time? Yeah, it was definitely the air was heavy, um, you know, so I, I got out of there pretty quick and just needed to breathe. Thank you so much, Jessica. We'll Thanks. send it back to you guys. Uh, but obviously here a really emotional time for these victims and their family members, uh, the survivors uh, who are coming out of the courthouse learning that James Holmes uh, did not get the death penalty, that it was life in prison without parole. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.